Hey everybody, time for a very quick product review. Um, recently I've been trying to get some weight out of my rucksack. Um, I've got a bit of a bad back. Um, and as most of you know, if you ride with a rucksack, um, most of the weight can be in the bladder that's got your, your fluid in it. So I don't particularly like having a bottle on the bike, I'd rather the weight on me, um, but I thought I'd put a bottle cage on. Now, sounds like a stupid product review, etc. So, but what I did rather stupidly, I forgot I've got a full suspension bike. So I went out and I bought a bottle cage and I fitted my bottle cage and I put a bottle in it and then I realised that it doesn't fit. So that was handy. So um, that's wasted money, so let's put that to one side. There's a theme developing here of things I buy that I really should have thought through. So I then had a brilliant idea. Only trouble was I was solving the wrong problem. So I thought the bottle won't go in like that so I then bought one of these fancy cages where the bottle goes in sideways. Now I thought, hey, that's a good solution. If the bottle goes in sideways, I don't have to have that clearance. So I put that on. Then I realized because that sound stands a bit proud, that didn't fit either. So there's another waste of money. Do you get the theme that's developing now? So I then looked up uh, a bottle called a fid lock and I've taken out this packaging just so you can see so the idea of these things is that they twist open they are held together with magnets so this becomes your bottle cage and it clips on like that in fact actually let me do that a bit of a demonstration so once it's on you click you twist it to unlock the bottle but you can put the bottle on from any angle yep twist to unlock and it clips on. It's, it's a really strong magnet. So part of, part of this is, let me show you this. So where, how low does it get? Look at that's moving. <laughs> okay, one more time. I think that's, I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty impressive. You know, um, <laughs> there's a good, good inch and a half um, there where, where that shows the strength of the magnet. So, so I'm going to put this on. So the two things I need this to do, I need it to fit on the bike um, and not get in the way of the rear shock. Uh, and I need it to stay on the bike if you go over rough ground. So fast forward this bit, if I'll do it for you, because this is me literally using a torque wrench to undo two screws and then put this on the bike. So talk amongst yourselves, fast forward now. What a job. If you'd like a in-depth fact sheet on how to un or loosen two bolts and then reaffix two bolts, you really need to get alive. So there we are, that's on. So what are the two things I needed to do? I needed to not hit the rear shock. Success. There's not a lot of clearance, but there's enough clearance and that's all you need. And it means I can snap it off like that and put it in from any angle. So that's the answer to that question. And the only other question I've got to ask is, when you go over rough terrain, will it fall off? Because you're trusting magnets and there's no point spending 30 odd quid uh, on a bottle if you're just gonna leave it by the trail side the first time you ride. So let's go out ride, see if it stays on. Okay, so just back um, from doing a little test ride for the Fidlock bottle, um, and I got to say, I, I, I'm I'm pretty impressed. Um, you know, it's it's thirty odd quid versus four quid for a normal bottle, um, but then depending on the the cage you buy, you've got the same amount. Um, so what are the two what are the two things the two things I wanted it to be able to do? Uh, it had to fit in a bike frame that had a rear shock, so it did that, and it had. I had to be very comfortable that it wouldn't fall off. Um, it wasn't a huge test, just did a few little jumps, etc. But I'll tell you 
when I knew it was a good product was about half an hour into mucking about uh, in the trails, it didn't cross my mind it was gonna come off. It was completely rock solid. So uh, by that measure, it does exactly what it claims to, and I think it's a pretty good product.